Hello everyone, Sundarek here. This is my guide on the energy amplifier event and how to max the rewards on the first day. So, um, to start the event, you will be prompted to start a quest here, as you can see here. Where do you want to you will have next? to talk to these two to finish the quest. After you finish the quest, the first phase of the event, the first three sections of Act 1, will be to each will have three subsections, which will be to look for monster camps in the wild that are empowered by um, a specific type of red uh, orbs. You will have to destroy the red orbs in order to debuff the enemies, and then you will have to kill all of them to collect these shards. There are 12 of them. There are 12 of them in total on the first day, as you can see here. After you collect all the shards, you will be prompted to go come back to these two again. And after that happens, the new domain will open up. As you can see, I've already completed the domain, but this domain will open up. You can challenge the domain and that finishes the first act of the entire quest. After that is done, the Twisted Realm will open up, so you can come to this domain here. This is the important part on how to maximize real re your rewards here. So within the Twisted Realm, as you can see, it takes a thousand, pr uh, a thousand of these points to obtain the 60 Primal Gem rewards. And then if you want maximum rewards for everything, you will have to get a total of 20,000 of the points, which means there are four domains in total. Each only takes the highest amount of points possible, which means you'll have to get at least 5,000 points each. So when it comes to selecting difficulty, what is best is to select 5,000 points Exactly, that will give you the maximum amount of rewards. It also gives you the mid comparably the minimum amount of difficulty for you to complete. It is recommended that you select the expert level as the multiplier will help you easily get to 5,000 points without uh, having to check all of them. Once the domain starts, there will be three waves. The first wave will be two GOV ship hatchlings. The second wave will be a GOV ship hatchling and a GOV ship, which will essentially power in, eventually power into a cryo one. And then the third wave will be two GOV ships, which will be one cryo and one electro each. Now the last point, the last thing about this event is the energy amplifier. These are all the stones or shards you collected earlier from doing the 12 uh, open world fights. So as you can see, there is a maximum number you can put on. Currently, I'm allowed to put a maximum of one purple shard. The number of blue shards and green shards depends on the total energy each provides. As you can see, this one here provides this 250. The blue ones only provide 150, and these only provide 100, which means you are allowed to have a maximum of 1,000. As you can see, I did not max that out. I have 950. Another way to increase this if you do not have enough shards is to find a friend and um, use their characters that will also increase the shards, uh, the um, motive force in this case. After the event is finished, there is the event shop. As you can see, I have bought all the hero's wits, enchantment ore, and more as only. It is recommended that you buy what you need first, but if you follow the plan of doing 20,000 points in the end, you should be able to max out everything at in the shop. Another thing to make sure is if you need another, if you need Diona or a, a copy of the, a constellation of Diona, you make sure to invite her first. She will cost uh, a thousand of these currencies for you to invite. And that is all for Act One of the event. If you want to see some footages of me fighting the domain and the open world bosses, I have attached one of each at the end of the video. So as you can see, there's a shard right about here. 
All you need to do is use a Claymore character to break the shard initially, some monsters will spawn, you need to kill the monsters, and afterwards you can collect fragments from the shard. So now as you can see after clearing all the monsters, you will be able to collect the fragment. That's all the information I have for you today. If um, uh, if you like the content, please consider subscribing. I'm new to YouTube, but uh, I've been playing Genshin since lunch, and uh, I've grinded quite a bit for the game. So I would like to share my tips and guides with you guys. Thank you, and have a nice day.